back to learning C++ with Linux Mint and Windows 10. So in this video we're going to learn how to set up Linux Mint to uh, basically have a development environment for pretty much any language you want to do but we're going to do it specifically for C++. Okay so I'm going to run my password as 1234 I log in. This is the screen you get when you restart. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because it's maybe not as easy to see. There we go. Okay. So, now we have a full screen. I want to explain a few things. Um, Linux Mint has a menuing system a lot like Windows, um, though, in my opinion, so much better. <laughs> but uh, it also gives you a default terminal here. We're going to install what I, I consider a better one, but here's your default terminal. And then also it gives you Chrome, or Firefox, excuse me, Firefox. So the very first thing you want to do, um, I think, is to install a better terminal. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do menu, open soft, it'll bring up all the options for software. We'll go software manager, hit enter, your pass uh, have a password. You can turn this off, but I'll leave that for you to go research. So you don't have to type in the password every single time. Okay. Excuse me. Now it's um, going out and grabbing all its packages. That's why it takes just a couple minutes to load clean up. So we're gonna look for Terminator here. This is my favorite one. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a lot of them. And this is my favorite one, so I like to use Terminator. So feel free to go mess around with these and see which one you like. Uh, but in this video series, we're going to use Terminator. So install. Let it do its install here. I'm going to leave that just in my recorder here so I can easily pause. Um, and then, there we go. So it should be installed. We go Termin excuse me, Terminator. There we go. Click that down here, or right click on the other Terminator, we're going to remove that, bring this up. Now what I like about Terminator here, there's a lot of things about Terminator, but one of my favorite things is this feature. It gives me split screens, which is really cool. I use that at work all the time. Okay, so now we need to set up a good bash. Uh, my favorite is oh my ZSH. So you can go pull up Firefox, and we'll go oh my ZSH. It should be right here. Bobby Russell's on my ZH. Go to the bottom. Uh, we're going to need to install curl. So we'll do sudo apt get install curl. Oops, wrong password. We'll do dash 234. There we go. Yes, it's fine. <coughs> okay, so now we'll grab it via curl. Uh, you can do wget too, I just like curl, so we'll do just a bash file here, it's going to run, and we'll grab it and install it, oh, I'm sorry, sudo apt, you got to install uh, zsh, and I'll actually git as well, so git and zsh, there we go, yes, the git takes a second, so I'm, I'm going to pause that screen here, hey, so it's done installing, and we're going to try again to get on my ZSH. Put the password in again. Okay, so you see this little uh, cool new bash? There's a lot of cool things that ZSH gives you. I'm going to show them to you. So uh, a couple more things we need to do before we're ready to actually start um, coding. Uh, we need a editor, and we need to. I like to use two editors. I like to use Emacs and also Sublime Text. There's a lot of editors out there, and there's a lot of opinions out there. And so I leave it up to you to find one of your favorite one. But uh, those, those are what I'm going to use in this video series. So we need, first need to get Emacs. So we'll do that. Oops, I'm going to install Emacs. Yes, this is kind of, Emacs is a little bit bigger, so it's going to be a second. So, uh, no, I'm going to be too bad at this. I'll leave it running. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and install Emacs. While it's doing that, I'm going to go grab Sublime. So we'll do uh, Ubuntu install Sublime. I'm going to go down to this one here. How do I install Sublime? You can copy this URL here if you don't want to Google search it. And we'll go, I like to use Sublime 3, so we'll grab the repository. 
So we're done here. So we'll paste that in. We'll run So now since we're already running update, we'll also run um, all the other ones too. So before we go, run this. So do sudo app get distribution upgrade and sudo app get update. Oop, I should have, I think upgrade has to be first. I can't remember which one. Because the one relies on the other one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. But y you aren't missing uh, on much either way. You can run them both twice and then make sure you have everything. Um, update. This is going to take a bit, so I'm going to pause the video as soon as this starts. Yes. It's sort of like running Windows Update, so it takes a minute. But it's not too bad, maybe 5-10 minutes. But I don't, I don't want to have the video running and then talking this whole time. So I'm going to pause it. Once this is done, I'll see you guys back in a second. And welcome back. So our update and distribution upgrade finished running. And with that came the upgrade of your um, repositories, so we don't need to run that. So we can just directly run this install. So we'll paste that into a terminal again. Hit enter. Let it run for a second. And then we'll hit the Windows or the menu button here. We'll type in Sublime. We'll drag that down here. Hot little hot button key down here so you can grab it whenever you want to. We'll open Sublime up. <coughs> And we need to install the Sublime Package Manager. So we'll do Sublime Package Manager. So, hold on. So now we're on the Package Control Installation website. So we need to grab this, this code here. We'll copy it. We'll open up Sublime. We'll do View Show Console. We'll paste it in here. We'll hit Enter. We'll let Python do its thing. Oh, did I, uh, oh, I didn't copy that correctly. So we'll do this, copy. There we go. Okay, there we go. So package control. Now package control allows us to install custom packages. So we'll open it up. We'll say install package. We'll do C plus plus 11. Install, let it run. So now we have a lot of autocompletes and stuff for C++, which is nice. Um, then we'll go into here, we'll, I don't like board of wrap myself, and we will get rid of this console. Okay, so actually let's close the out right now. Okay, so now we got to do our final little terminal setup. This is completely optional, but I like to do it. So sudo emacs zshrc, this is your zsh bash file, allows you to have Customization, like customize your bash. So, um, I also don't like to have this screen here. You can read this. There's a lot of really cool stuff about Emacs in here. Uh, dismissed the startup screen for myself. So I, and then um, I also like the uh, cloud theme here. So go into cloud. And for right now, we'll just do this. Um, and then we're also going to make one quick alias. Install. Oops, we'll do install package equal to sudo sudo app get install and then this gives you so you don't have to actually here i'll show you this you don't have to type it out every time it's it's an alias so you gotta source it out real quick source zshrc you'll you'll notice um we now have our cloud here oh is that right i think i missed that z oh zshrc okay now we have cloud different than the last one we had wsl and we also can do this, install package htop. So instead of having to type that huge sudo app get install, you can do this. We're almost out of time. I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, so now you see that works, and we are ready to go. We have Sublime, we have a package control install, we have a good terminal. Um, so Firefox is my favorite browser, but because this isn't a web development, we don't need a good browser. Um, though Firefox isn't bad. Uh, so there we go. So we have a good development environment. We have uh, everything we need set up, and we're ready to go. In the next video, we'll create our very first C++ program. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. I hope you guys have a good night, and see you in the next video.